finishes in the most spectacular manner. The debate about who is the greatest player of all time sparks huge discussion and is unlikely ever to reach a definitive verdict. However, consensus on the greatest ever clay court player was reached long ago. Uh, yes. Yet that has not dampened Rafael Nadal's desire to be the commander on clay, where a body of jaw-dropping statistics are testament to his domination. It's a perfect 10 for Nadal. Going into Monte Carlo, Rafa had the highest clay court winning percentage of all time, at a staggering 92.02%. He had the longest unbeaten winning streak by any player on one surface, that had seen him win 13 titles across a two-year period. And he held the most clay court titles ever, with 57. He's done it. When you go deeper into Rafa's success, specifically in the spring clay swing, the statistics are even more impressive. In Monte Carlo, he had the most consecutive titles. And the longest winning streak at one event. In 2010, he became the first and still the only player to complete the clay slam, winning Monte Carlo, Madrid, Rome, and Roland Garros. At the French Open, Rafa has dominated. He's the only player to have won the slam in his teens, 20s, and 30s. He's the only player in the Open era to win 11 titles at a single Grand Slam. And his winning percentage in Paris is the best by any man at a Grand Slam tournament. On top of all this, Rafa holds the record for the most titles at Grand Slam, Masters 1000, and 500 tournaments. In the last 15 years, he's become his own history man. Rafael Nadal wins a fifth title in Madrid. His performance level has barely dropped at this time of year across all the clay events. No player has ever shown so much consistency on a surface. His longevity and ability to maintain his peak form are staggering. There's no debate, he is the greatest clay court player of all time. Quite a remarkable comeback from a young man who's been setting new records all year. Next week on ATP Uncovered, we're in Barcelona for the only ATP 500 in the swing. And we head to Hungary, where we'll be behind the scenes on the clay in Budapest. Don't forget to log on to atptour.com and chat with us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. See you next week.